Welcome, in this video I'm going to show you how you can perform a pairwise sign test as a postdoc test to the Friedman test. Um, the Friedman test was used to check if, uh, for example, any of these uh, might have a significant difference and then a postdoc test can be used uh, which ones are then significantly different. In this case, uh, the postdoc test is going to be uh, done using a sign test, uh, which can be found by using analyze uh, non-parametric test, and then you could use related samples, but then um, it takes quite a lot longer. So luckily, there's still the legacy dialogs, and then we go for uh, two related samples. Uh, unfortunately, this also isn't too short because you will have to put in each possible pair combination yourself. So in my case, that was 4.1 uh, and 4.2. Move it to the right. 4.1, 4.3. 4.1, 4.4, 4.1, 4.5, 4.1, 4.6, 4.1, 4.7, 4.2, 4.3, 4.2, 4.4, 4.2, 4.5, 4.2, 4.6, 4.3, and 6, 3 and 7, 4 and 5, 4 and 6, 4 and 7. You can actually use the control key to select two variables. And there we go. And the last one. And hopefully that's 21. Yes, so I didn't forget any. Uh, in this video, I said to use the sign test. So uncheck the Wilcoxon and check the sign test. If you like, under options, you could check the descriptives. You don't have to. Uh, click on OK. And as a result, all the way at the bottom, we nicely get to see our results. And uh, the exact one is uh, the one we're looking for. And otherwise, it's using a set approximation. Um, you can actually force it to always use the exact significance. In that case, if you're in this menu, you can simply go for exact and then actually say, I want it to be done exact. Um, Note that these values are not adjusted for ties yet. So if you want to, uh, sorry, not adjusted for uh, multiple comparisons. So um, uh, most often Bonferroni is then used. And unfortunately, that will have to be done uh, somewhat manually or using Excel. In that case, you need more than the three decimals shown. So double click on this and you'll get in the pivot table test uh, statistic uh, window where you can double click on any of the values again and then you notice it will get more decimals. Control copy and then go back to, uh, for example, Excel. Um, not that one, uh, this one. Paste uh, the significance in, that's the unadjusted one. So like this. Um, I had uh, seven variables. So that means in total I've done 21 tests, which can be calculated by simply taking this one, multiplied by this one minus one divided by two. The original significance then gets multiplied by the number of uh, comparisons, and then the adjusted according to Bonferroni will be 0.35, so this one will no longer be considered significant. Um, that's the uh, sign test in itself. Uh, one other thing that might be of interest is if it is significant, um, then you would like to know which one scored better. In that case, you might want to have a look at their uh, average scores or their uh, mean ranks, um, or which one had bigger differences, and also double check then uh, which, uh, how the variables were actually coded, if it was uh, positive or negatively coded, or in other words, from was it going from fully disagree to fully agree, or from fully agree to fully disagree? Hope that made sense. But that's how to perform a pairwise sign test in SPSS.